Imagine a king from a Korean kingdom is homosexual. His lover serves as his royal bodyguard, and his queen is in desperate need of a son to serve as an heir to the kingdom. Now, how will this story unfold? This plot belongs to the 2008 erotic historical South Korean movie, A Frozen Flower. The story begins in a Korean kingdom. A young king has assembled a group of young boys to train and form an elite group of bodyguards, called the Royal Guards. Among all the trainees, the king has his eyes over a boy named Hong Lim. Despite not being the strongest or the best swordsman, Hong Lim's dedication and willingness to die for his king manages to impress the king. So much so, the king begins to train him on a personal level, both in swordsmanship and in music. Ten years later, Hong Lim becomes the chief of royal guards, and he catches one of his subordinates named Han Bake on a run of the palace maid, which is against the rules, and the runaway couple get a death sentence for it. Even after ten years, the king still holds Hong Lim near and dear to him. Hong Lim gets down on his knees and begs the king to pardon his friend from death sentence. Later, he goes to the other guards and informs them that the king had generously spared Han Bake's life. While most of the guards are happy to hear this, Song Ki, the vice captain of the royal guards, confronts Hong Lim for going against the rules. When Hong Lim replies that it was ordered from the king himself, Song Ki accuses him of persuading the king through pillow talk. Hong Lim gets furious and attacks Song Ki. He warns him to not bid mouth the king anymore, or else he'll pay the price with his life. In reality, Song Ki's accusation isn't far-fetched, as Hong Lim and the king are very close to each other. The king is in fact in love with Hong Lim, so much so that he doesn't even show any kind of affection towards the queen. After Hong Lim leaves to let the royal pair chat in private, the queen informs that her relatives from the Chinese kingdom are soon going to visit, and the failure to birth an heir to their kingdom is surely going to serve as an issue. The queen meets Hong Lim and thanks him for persuading the king to pardon her maid's life. Hong Lim replies that it was a decision solely taken by the king himself but the queen hints that she knows exactly how he had a hand in it. Later that day, during an outdoor lunch, the king asks his queen to sing a song for him. The queen at first gets taken back by this request, but later she happily sings to fulfill the wish of her husband, as she rarely gets any opportunity to impress him. Then, all of a sudden, they get attacked by a group of assassins. The king's bodyguards begins to fight back in order to protect the king. The number of assassins soon begin to outnumber them and Hong Lim requests the king and queen to get to safety. But the king seems more worried for Hong Lim than his queen, so he decides to stay back and fight together. While the queen gets escorted to safety, the king begins to fight back together with Hong Lim against his assassins. Trying to save the king's life, Hong Lim ends up getting injured, but he still gets up and continues fighting back. But one of the assassins manages to strike at the king. After killing all the assassins, the king is taken to the palace, and fortunately, he survives. After getting his consciousness back, the king immediately demands to see Hong Lim, who feels guilty for not being able to defend him. He demands the king to take his life away, but instead the king says that he would have been dead years ago if it wasn't for him. Seeing all this in front of her, the queen feels gutted. In their investigation regarding the attempted assassination, the royal guards suspect Lord Cho, one of their ministers, to be behind all of this, but since he is under the protection of the Chinese kingdom, they can't blame him without concrete proof. Hong Lim orders his men to keep Lord Cho under their surveillance and gather enough proof to convict him. One day, the ambassador from the Chinese kingdom arrives with an important message. The Chinese kingdom is very large and strong, so the Korean kingdom has no option but to pay its respect and bow down. The ambassador reads the message from the Chinese kingdom that if the king fails to get in here for himself, his kingdom will be handed down to a distant relative of the Chinese family. After the ambassador leaves, Lord Cho and other ministers express that they're fully prepared to agree with all the demands, as they aren't hopeful that the king will get in here anytime soon. The king seems pretty helpless in his own kingdom, but then the queen furiously questions their loyalty towards the king and blames herself for not being able to give birth. That night, the king expresses that he feels like merely a puppet of the Chinese kingdom, so he asks the queen to return back to her home. But the queen refuses to leave Assad and promises to help him. And then the king offers her a suggestion. As a last resort to save his kingdom, he asks his lover, Hong Lim and his queen to sleep together and give birth to his heir. Next day, fertility rituals and preparations are carried out as the whole kingdom believes that the king and queen will try to get pregnant. But that night, the king sends Hong Lim over to his queen to take his place on the bed. 
Obeying the orders from his king, Hong Lim enters the room. While still dismayed at this unusual request, Hong Lim sleeps with the queen, who is just unhappy and sad about all this. After their first attempt, the queen fails to conceive a child. So the king asks Hong Lim to try one more time. Hong Lim asks why he was chosen to be part of this, and the king replies that he wants his hair to look just like him. After numerous attempts that go by without any success, the people involved in this start to get mixed feelings. Hong Lim has started to enjoy this, and the queen has begun to get used to it. The king, on the other hand, starts to get jealous having his lover sleep with his wife. Hong Lim also starts to question his feelings towards the king. To investigate the past assassination attempt, Hong Lim, along with a few of his men, take off to a distant town. Even when he's away, Hong Lim can't help but think of the queen. So he secretly goes to the palace to catch a glimpse of the queen, who has been praying to God to bless her with a child. When he returns back, he finds the king disguised as a commoner. He was worried about Hong Lim, so he had to come see him. At night, he looks at the king and cries as he feels he's been betraying him by catching feelings for the queen. Next morning, Hong Lim gets informed that the king had to return early in the morning as the queen had fallen sick. The king hopes that the queen is finally pregnant, but she informs him that is not the case. So the next day, the king calls both the queen and Hong Lim, and he informs them that a new date has been fixed for them to try yet again for a child. And this time, he doesn't want them to fail. After getting out from there, Hong Lim goes to the queen and gives her a locket. He recalls that she had lost a similar kind of locket when they were under attack. He has clearly started to acknowledge that he has feelings for the queen. That night during a royal ceremony, the king notices the locket and asks about it. The queen lies and tells him that it was gifted by her brother. Then she gets up from her seat and orders her maid to tell Hong Lim to meet her at the library. When Hong Lim enters the library, the queen is already waiting for him. She holds his hands and then the two begin their intimate relationship outside the knowledge of the king. The two had truly begun to love each other. The queen gives him a handmade handkerchief and asks him to always keep it with himself. And before leaving, she tells him that she'll be waiting for him tomorrow as well. A few days later, the queen informs the king that she'll be leaving to attend her nephew's birth ceremony. After knowing she'll be gone for a few days, Hong Lim can't control himself. He enters the queen's room and starts to kiss her passionately. And when he goes back to his room, he finds the king waiting for him. Upon being asked where he was, Hong Lim replies that he was at the library reading books on warfare. But the king clearly knows that it's all a lie. That night, Hong Lim gets information that Lord Cho, the Chinese ambassador and queen's older brother, have been plotting assassination of the king. Hong Lim immediately informs the king about all this and even provides a confession from the merchant who had sold the weapons. The next day, the king invites all the schemers against him to a grand feast. As soon as everyone gets seated, the guards from royal guards enter the room. Then the king orders them to kill everyone who had plotted to take him out of his throne. The guards then do just as they're told. Later, the king informs his queen that her elder brother was also among the key conspirators, and he had sent Hong Lim to kill him. When the queen meets Hong Lim at the library, she is concerned about her brother's life. Then, Hong Lim reveals to her that he couldn't kill her brother. He had sent everyone from her brother's family far away from the Korean kingdom. But Song Ki later brings the severed head of the queen's brother to the king, who is disappointed to see that his lover had disobeyed him and gone behind his back. So he calls them and says that the queen will yet again try to conceive a child. But this time, it won't be Hong Lim, but Song Ki that will sleep with the queen. As it is an order from the king himself, they are helpless and can't do anything against it. Hong Lim is really stressed by this order, and that night, he gets a visit from the queen. She expresses that she can't sleep with another man, and asks Hong Lim to run away with her. But Hong Lim replies that it will only put her life at risk, so he says that it's better for them to stay away from each other. He really loves her, but at the same time, he doesn't want to go against the king. Getting rejected by Hong Lim, and to save herself from sleeping with another man, the queen tries to end her life, but she gets saved just on time. Seeing all this, the king asks Hong Lim if his relationship with the queen was just based on lust, or if he really loved her. Hong Lim lies to him that he never had any feelings for her. To give him another chance to prove loyalty, the king sends Hong Lim to border duty for a few days. The night before he is set to leave the palace, Hong Lim is called upon by the queen. He goes to meet her at the library, where she reveals that she is pregnant with his child. The two begin to get intimate, while the king finds out that both of them have been missing from their rooms. 
He sets out to look for them, and when he finally reaches the library, he catches them in the act. He ties both of them with ropes and asks what should be done to them. The queen is ready to take blame for everything and asks to be punished in place of Hong Lim. Likewise, Hong Lim is ready to sacrifice his own life for the sake of the queen, and he even confesses his true feelings for the queen. Upon hearing his lover confess love for someone else, the king has mixed emotions of sadness and anger. Then, he furiously commands his men to castrate Hong Lim. The queen begs him to not do this and asks to take her life instead. But the king isn't in a mood to listen to anyone, and Hong Lim at the end gets castrated by Song Kai. After that, he is sent to prison, and the queen goes into trauma. While checking on the queen, the doctor finds out that she is pregnant and informs the king about it. After finding out the truth, the king calls Song Ki and orders to kill everyone who knew about the affair between the queen and Hong Lim. Following his orders, the guards kill the people who shared this secret. Meanwhile, Hong Lim gets rescued by some of his friends from the royal guards. After getting back to health, Hong Lim wants to save the queen. Despite his friends trying to stop him, Hong Lim sets out to save the queen and bring her with him. But midway through his journey, he realizes that he can no longer keep her happy, and the best thing to do would be to leave her as she is. He returns back only to find that his friends had been captured. When he goes back to the palace, he finds the severed heads of his friends, who were punished for getting him out of the prison. There he also sees the locket which he had given to the queen. The king was clearly sending a message to him. One day, the soldiers of Korean Kingdom are returning back after serving at war for Chinese Kingdom. Hong Lim enters the palace after disguising himself as one of the soldiers. Meanwhile, the queen is still trying to get the king to forgive Hong Lim and spare his life. But the king has no intention to do so and strictly refuses her wish. When Song Ki takes the queen back to her room, he gets an offer from the queen. She reminds him that everyone who knew the secret were dead. Well, everyone but himself and when he no longer gets useful, he too will get killed by the orders of the king. So she asks him to assassinate the king, and when the Korean kingdom gets handed over to her relatives, she will make sure to have his life spared. Song Ki is intrigued by this offer, and he starts to plot this with his friends. Hong Lim, on the other hand, has managed to fight his way into the king's chamber. He enters the king's room and bows his head down. Then he tells the king that he is here to kill him, and asks him to get his sword. The former lovers then battle in a sword fight. The battle gets intense, and they soon manage to get each other with their sword. Song Ki arrives with his guards, but the king insists on fighting Hong Lim, all by himself. The king is more skilled at fighting than Hong Lim, and he repeatedly asks him to surrender and save his life. But Hong Lim refuses to do so, and the anchored king finally stabs Hong Lim through his shoulder and asks if he ever truly loved him. Hong Lim replies that he never had any kind of feelings towards him as he steps forward and stabs the king with his broken sword. The guards try to step forward, but Song Ki stops them from helping the king. And as an injured Hong Lim steps forward, he gets killed by Song Kai. The queen reaches just seconds later, but she isn't allowed to meet Hong Lim. She gets taken away by the guards, and Hong Lim takes his final breath after seeing the dead body of the king. Song Ki then tells everyone at witness to say that the king was killed by Hong Lim, and they were too late to stop it from happening. From now on, this will be a secret that only they know of. Thanks so much for watching. Please tell us what you thought of this movie down below in the comments section. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more movie recaps.